Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters. Follow me on X. And if you are in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. Can save some money. And today we're going to talk about really the most important component of a of a electric car is the battery. Still, the battery pack, it is the biggest cost, the biggest expense. Some say even 40% of the cost of the car is the battery. Now it's coming down, it's coming down dramatically, and there's a lot of advances that were done in the last 10, 12 years. Uh, by all companies, really, I have to say, by all companies, a lot of trial and error, but it's coming up. Now, CATL, the Chinese CATL uh, company, is the, one of the largest, if not the largest, battery manufacturer in the world, and the main supplier of, of batteries to Tesla in China, of course, which produce or half or almost more than half of all Tesla cars that are sold around, uh, around China, uh, the Far East, Europe, Middle East, and all that. And they making advances. Now, I, I waited with this story to learn a little more about it, which happened like uh, last week. They made a big announcement, big presentation about a new battery, an LFP battery uh, that claims to have about uh, 400 kilometers, 400 kilometers of charge in 10 minutes and a range of 700 kilometers uh, all, all throughout. So that is a, that is a big, big, big uh, claim. We're talking about uh, close to 400 miles or so uh, uh, of, uh, of range. In fact, 400 kilometers is close to 250 miles and uh, 700 kilometers is more than 400, uh, 400, 430, 440 miles or so. So that's a lot of miles. In 10 minutes, now we're talking about going to the gas station almost. However, first of all, before, before I tell you what I think about it, I'm a little bit skeptic, but you know what? If I'm wrong, that'd be great. Uh, this, we're talking about LFP batteries. Now, LFP batteries, uh, if you have a Tesla Model 3 standard range in the United States, or if you have a, a Tesla Model Y standard range outside of the United States, they are all with LFP batteries. The standard range in the United States, it, it actually long range Model Y uh, that has less miles is, is not uh, LFP. It's like the 4680, that's lithium ion. So the advantage is that you can charge it to 100%, okay? That it gives you many more uh, charging cycles. I think from what I read, 3000, that's lifetime. And uh, they are very, um, environmentally friendly in terms of uh, recycling at the end of their life. Now, the big disadvantage is they're not so dense, so you need a bigger battery to achieve good mi good miles, let's say 250 miles or 260 miles. They are um, uh, not so good in cold weather, to say the least, in terms of charging and in terms of performance. So these are two big things. Now, it depends where you live. Depends where, if you live in the Middle East, this is a great, uh, a great, or if you live in Florida, these are great batteries. They're, they will do very, very well. But if you live in cold weather, this is not that great, right? So they have good advantages and they have some disadvantages. And also they don't have too much range. Now, uh, CATL says that they are uh, um, developing what we call the M3P. The, it, may, it contains magnesium. Okay, and it's an LFP battery and it's higher performance and, and no rare earth materials. The new one, the new one that they're talking about is going to be dense, denser, okay, and have these performances that we don't want. I have to tell you something. This is probably based on the Chinese uh, uh, equivalent to the EPA uh, range. Now I go to the Chinese <coughs> Tesla website or and other uh, car uh, car websites in China, and their projected range for the standard range Model Three is that close to 600 kilometers. <laughs> That's not true. That is not true. That's not happening. So what I'm saying, it is a very generous uh, a standard. Okay, it's, a, it's also very antiquated. Uh, Japan also. Japan also also uses standard. It's not the WLTP, which it's also a little bit generous, but not as one. To me, the EPA is the most accurate um, a, a cycle of projecting range. So if this is based on the uh, Chinese 
cycle of total range, so it's very, very generous. I will take at least 30% off of it. So is the battery going to be smaller and denser or the same size and denser? And good. But to me, what's interesting the most is the uh, uh, charging speed, because as you know, in the United States, all LFP batteries that I know, it's 175 kilowatt hour, as opposed to the lithium ion, which has uh, 250, 350, whatever it is, 400, whatever it is, kilowatt to a uh, to charge. So I am skeptic about the range, and I would like to see about the charging. The like to see, to, to get 250, 260 miles in 10 minutes, I have to talk. But I can tell you the last thing because I do tremendous amount of long distance traveling in my Model 3 and my Model 1. When you come low, uh, let's say 20% or so preconditioned to a supercharger, a V3 supercharger, you get 150, 175 miles in like 10 minutes. So it's not 250, but it's not that far. Then it goes down. The question is, will it sustain a high charge throughout the cycle of the battery and what is it going to do to the life uh, of the battery to the to the um to the uh uh you know the longevity the, the degradation of the battery that's interesting let me know your thought thanks you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video